Hi ladies, this is Amber Mellon and welcome to my channel. If you are new here, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and that notification bell so you never miss an upload from me. And a just big thank you to everyone who has recently subscribed to my channel and thank you to everyone who always leaves um, you know, beautiful comments. Thank you for your love, your support, the feedback. Um, you know, thank you so much. It's greatly appreciated. So today's video uh, is a video about um, my weight loss journey and what I'm going to do. As you guys know, the pre my last video, it was a chit chat, get ready with me, life update video. And one of the things that I talked about was weight loss. So I hope to make this video straight to the point and I hope that whatever I say today is simple and maybe there's some things that you could take from it and incorporate it into your own lifestyle. So I just want to say that for me to do this, um, first of all, I had to make the decision to do it. Like I'm going to get my mind right. I'm going to do it. I'm going to change the way I think about certain things as far as health. So that was the number one big thing for me. And this, the second thing for me is to um, small steps. Small steps equals big wins. So that's one of the, uh, another thing that I wanted to focus on. The third thing I wanted to focus on is my why. Why do I wanna do this? Because that is what's gonna keep me going, keep me committed when I don't feel like doing this. You know what I'm saying? Because bad habits are hard to break. So one of my whys is I just want more energy and I don't want to be in pain. As we ladies get older, you know, if you're in your young 20s and you're working out, I encourage you to continue to live a healthy lifestyle. Because as you get older into your 30s, if you stop working out and eating healthy, it will eventually catch up with you. And it will be hard to change your mindset, those bad habits, and lose weight. So for me, I'm 30 years old. I'm about to be 31. I just want to feel better. I want more energy. I want, you know, my head to feel more clear. Um, I just, I don't, I'm tired of the inflammation pain. I'm tired of my lower back pain. Um, so yeah, that's one of the number one reasons is I don't want to hurt anymore. The second reason is, um, you know, eventually I want to have a family. And if I'm already in pain and I'm already out of shape, if I'm already overweight for my frame and my height, then adding an extra, you know, 10 to 25 pounds on that is just might make me feel miserable. Like, I don't even want to know how that's going to be. You know, so those are the two my whys of why I am choosing to start my weight loss journey. So for me right now, um, what I've been focusing on is, like I said, small steps equal big wins. So for the past um, two weeks, I have been uh, walking in my neighborhood for 20 minutes a day. I am not trying to focus on going to the gym, getting a gym membership. Um, I'm not trying to focus on lifting weights because I, you know, I, this is not my first rodeo, you know, with trying to lose weight. And we all know how when we're in the beginning of that journey, you know, we can make excuses for ourselves of, you know, reasons not to do something. So if a gym is not like five minutes away, you know, and I'm not totally committed, then I'm going to make excuse to not go to the gym. I'm like, oh, I got off work late, or oh, it's too far, or oh, it's raining, or oh, it's a lot of traffic. You know, whatever excuse I could come up with as to not going to the gym. And so many times in the past, I have, you know, signed up for gym memberships, and I'm just giving in my money, and no uh, changes are being done, you know, as far as my health, my health and my body. So I've just been walking 20 minutes in my neighborhood and that is a simple, small baby step for me. Another thing I would do in the past is like I would decide to work out and then I would just go gung-ho and do like insanity. And then I would do insanity for like two weeks and then I would quit. So I'm, I'm, I'm approaching this differently. I'm trying to approach this in stages and levels and baby steps. And I'm wanting to uh, learn how to adapt things as a lifestyle versus changing things for a certain amount of time and then going back into my old ways. So yeah, 20 minutes a day is very doable for, doable for me. 20 minutes, uh, you know, flies by so fast. I also um, take my little dog with me, Samson, and we go walking for 20 minutes. And Samson loves to go walking. Now, as soon as I get home, he's like, okay, it's time to go walking. I know we're about to go walk. So that's what I've been doing. I missed 
two or three days like I went to a baby shower Saturday and then I started my new part-time job Sunday so I believe that I missed out on actually three days Sunday Monday yeah Sunday Saturday Sunday and Monday I missed out on walking but I definitely was like okay Amber you know you need to get back up so that's another thing is when you fall and you have a setback um, or you have a relapse you know a, a easy thing that we can do is like well you know I'm already stopped just let me go ahead and do it you know when you stop and you realize okay I need to get refocused you know just get back refocused don't let it discourage you don't let it stop you don't beat yourself up you know just dust yourself back off and get back up so yeah so the 20 minutes a day is doable I did start back walking again yesterday for 20 minutes and probably towards the end of this week I would like to increase it to 30 minutes so like everything in baby steps so you know you can give your body a chance to adjust to some type of movement um, you're talking about a person that doesn't that does not do any kind of uh, physical activity unless it's standing for work because I just been lazy for you know a couple amount of years so you know besides you know chores and cooking and working there's no other physical activity going on so I just want to get my body used to movement so the 20 minutes a day has been working for me ever since I made that last video about my knee pain and my lower back pain my I haven't uh, my knees haven't been hurting actually they've been doing a lot better and my lower back I still have some lower back pain like, like if I'm standing in one place a lot and cooking but it's getting better it's not like you know how it was before so I definitely want to continue to do this so my body will feel better to stop the inflammation pain and all that another thing is you know I have weaknesses so you know I'm you know I know what my weaknesses are and my triggers are so like ice cream is a big weakness of mine chips and salsa is a big weakness of mine um, you know cakes pies ice cream yes those are big weaknesses of mine a am I gonna give them up totally completely no no way I love pancakes I love waffles I just love to eat but I am willing to uh, think about okay I need to take this out for a certain amount of time out of my um, daily uh, you know out of my daily meals so basically what I've learned is pineapple and watermelon are a big sweet tooth killer for me now I know there's a lot of information out on YouTube about the keto keto diet and this kind of diets and all this other stuff and you know they're good I don't have anything bad to say about them like I said again I know my weaknesses I know what I've done in the past so for me it's again is baby steps it's like let's take this thing one level at a time so eventually you know we'll have one big win so um eating pineapple for me and watermelon like annihilates like it kills my sweet tooth like I don't need anything sweet because and not pineapple out of the can fresh pineapple and um you know watermelon and I try to choose pineapples that are like you know I cut them up when they're a dark golden color and the watermelon is really good because it has a lot of water in it it's definitely a big hydrator I know there's a lot of things you know information out there about like certain fruits you shouldn't eat because they're high in sugar but my thing is is like a pineapple or ice cream you know a pineapple or a dark chocolate candy bar you know so like I don't have a problem with sodas because I let sodas go a long time ago I don't have a problem with not drinking juice because I don't drink juice you know I drink a lot of water my one problem is coffee I love coffee and I have replaced you know a uh, traditional vanilla creamer um, you know I was getting the non GMO whole uh, vanilla creamer and I replaced that with almond uh, vanilla creamer with almond milk so I'm gonna have to figure out a way um, to continue to reduce my coffee intake because I do have a bad habit of when my when I'm on my way to work if I have a busy day in the salon I do have a habit of drinking a lot of coffee and not really chasing it with a lot of water because you know coffee dehydrates you so after you have coffee you just have to go back and just drink tons of water because it dehydrates you so much and eventually I want to be able to have like two cups of coffee at home and be good instead of like having like a whole pot of coffee 
putting it in my coffee mug and drinking it throughout the day because it's just dehydrating me and then I just have to make it all up for water. So that's another thing that I want to work on. Another thing is, you know, focusing on, you know, cutting out heavy meats for a certain time like pork. Am I giving up pork and red meat? No, I'm not. Uh, will I give it up for a certain time, you know, and indulge in it? periodically yes so for me I'm focusing on chicken and fish and shrimp shrimp is not technically like not the healthiest for you either there's a lot of information out there have it how it's like a bottom feed eater kind of you know um, meat so a lot some people don't consider shrimp to be healthy but again once again it's like shrimp or you know fried chicken you know shrimp or processed hot dogs so that's that's the way I'm thinking about things it's like and then I, I'm I'm also focusing on you know not, not focusing on what I can't have because sometimes when you focus on what you can't have you will drive yourself crazy and you will go and get it so I'm focusing on what I can have so I'm just trying to make this very very simple for me and if you um, want to start your weight loss journey I just wanted you to think about some of the things I'm saying and make it simple for you in order to begin this lifestyle and then once we get those small things uh, accomplished and we got a good grip on them and we make good habits out of them and it's easy for us to do these things then we can start adding you know challenging ourselves even more so but I'm at the bottom so I definitely want to be committed to this health change, to losing weight, um, but also, you know, life is too short and I am just not going to cut out, you know, milk and ice cream and chocolate and waffles and pancakes and stuff that I love. I'm just not going to do it, but I will maybe eat it like for breakfast, I might will have a waffle or a pancake or I might eat pork like, you know, for the holidays or if I go out of town, you know, just indulging sometimes. So, um, focusing on eating lots of fruits and vegetables and drinking lots of water. So, that's what I'm focusing on. Um, I don't eat any kind of iceberg lettuce. When I look at iceberg lettuce, to me, it's just like eating trash. Not, not putting anyone down who eats iceberg lettuce or anything like that, but I just know it just doesn't have any nutritional value. So, whenever I do make salads, I always either use spinach, um, mixed dark greens, or um, you know kale. Um, I love tomato and cucumber salad. I I'm not a big fish person. I lately these last this last past week, if you follow me on Instagram on my live Instagram stories, I have been um, eating salmon lately, and I just figured out a way to season it where I can eat it. And so lately I've been making a spicy jerk salmon and it's really good. I'm just using jerk seasoning, a little bit of seasoning salt, garlic, red cayenne pepper, and lime. And it tastes amazing. Um, and you know, I've been, uh, I used to eat a lot of brown rice. Lately I've been switching to jasmine rice, which I will take away from my diet, you know, at, you know when I'm ready to go to that new level but I've been eating um, you know jerk salmon cucumber tomato salad and I just on the cucumber tomato salad I just cut up some cucumbers tomatoes I put a little bit of rice vinegar and salt to taste and I eat that yeah and I eat the fish and the um yes the jasmine rice and another unhealthy thing I've been doing is I've been loving plantains lately so I know it's not healthy but like I said baby steps so yes guys and drinking lots of water drinking lots and lots of water so that's what I'm focusing on and working out for walking for 20 minutes a day and uh, eventually towards the end of this week the beginning of next week I want to uh, increase my walking time to 30 minutes and then from 30 minutes to an hour or maybe keep it at 30 minutes and then maybe for like 10 minutes do some type of lightweight training and I'll continue to update you guys so yeah I, I want to do this to feel better and I also want to start a family and I just want to be as healthy as I can be before I have a baby and I'm trying to think am I missing anything so yeah just just focusing on eating fish um, eating chicken um, eating lots of uh, green vegetables zucchini squash I love I love cauliflower carrots and broccoli vegetable mix 
drinking lots of water, uh, decreasing my coffee intake in the morning, and walking 20 minutes a day. So these are just simple things that I'm doing that I feel is doable, tangible, simple, that I can implement this for at least 28, 21 to 28 days. I think that's how long it takes to change your bad habits. So if you're not following me on Instagram, make sure you follow me on Instagram. Uh, let me know in the comment section if you're starting a weight loss journey, if you want to lose weight, uh, you know, what's your goal, what are some of the simple things that you want to do, and if you guys want to be held accountable, you know, tag me in your photos, in your stories, anything that has to do with living a healthy um lifestyle you know implementing small changes you know if you're a soda drinker you know you drink lots of soda maybe just for for one week just replace it with water you know or maybe do half water half juice you know you got to do this thing in baby steps because some people can go cold turkey and just discipline themselves and i just applaud you for that you go girl like that is awesome but i just know what works for me i know what my weaknesses are I know the kind of excuses I've come up with in the past. So I'm just trying to make this thing as simple and as doable as possible. And um, yeah, right right now I just focusing on um, eating the right things and just making this thing simple. So yeah, make sure you tag me. Let me know how much weight you want to lose, why you you know want to start your weight loss journey and what you're gonna do. And let me know if I've said anything that has resonated with you, things that you can take and use for your own benefit. And yeah, I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.